I've been in art and drawing ever since I can remember. And all I wanted to do was draw. I would draw with anything I get my hands on. Pencil, charcoal, paints, you name it. But never oil paints. And that changes today. You may ask, but why suddenly oil painting? All you have been doing is animation and cartoon sketches. To tell you why, let me start from the first. My love for fine art started with a simple pencil and paper. And I would just keep drawing all day or paint. Growing up in India, you weren't always encouraged to pursue arts as a career. So I had to put it aside until I went to college where I met my wife. Even though I couldn't formally study arts or anything in that manner, I always kept in touch with it. I used to practice every now and then. Even though I went to college for engineering, I had my mind set on making art my career. So after graduation, I went on to start my own company and service my clients for their design needs. It took us a year to finally get the hang of it and we landed one big client which made sure my company was going to survive for the foreseeable future. Having started my own company, I had to constantly manage people, manage clients, handle the flow of money and eventually it got to a point where I wasn't creative enough and all I was doing is just handling the business side of things. Even though it brought in significant amount of money in, into my company, but I wasn't happy with it. I wasn't happy with what I was doing. One of my dreams was always to go to an art school and being self-taught all my life. I wanted to learn the foundations of art, history of art, and what was the industry standard. So I enrolled myself in PNCA. Thank goodness they let me in. After getting in there, I was able to meet so many creative people, like-minded people. For the first time in my life, I was surrounded by, by an entire group of people who are just like me. Naturally, like any art school, they had so many departments where you could learn about printmaking, painting, and literally any form of art. One day, I accidentally stumbled into a room where I saw a guy painting. When I saw his painting, my jaw dropped. It was so good and I was so inspired and immediately I thought to myself, why did I stop painting? So I spent an entire day in his art studio, looking at his paintings, learning from him. Anyone whom I spoke with advised me to start oil painting. And I took it upon myself to learn about oil painting. And there are so many great YouTubers, great artists who share the knowledge, the skill on YouTube. So it was way easier than before. So I spent all of 2019 learning about art, studying about art, painting, drawing, the foundations, the art history of it, and going to museums. Now the subject of a painting. Earlier this year, on my mother's birthday, we took her on a trip to a nearby town where we stayed near the coast and in a room just looking over the ocean and also on a whale watching trip. We had so much fun that day, quoting the words of my mother, it was her best birthday ever. So the next day morning she woke up, poured herself a cup of coffee and sat on a deck overlooking the ocean. She was completely calm, completely peaceful and at that moment I got a picture of her and I wanted that to be my painting. Alright, it's now time to paint. Since I haven't done this before, I had to research about oil paints and what I needed to buy. The first thing I came across was the word medium. I was like, what's a medium? Don't you just take the oil paints and paint? Then I got to know using just oil paints would prove very expensive and incredibly hard to work with. So you needed some kind of a medium for you to bend the oil paints to your will. So I figured I'd just head down to the shop and look at my options. Once I went there, there were so many options, I was pretty confused. So I decided to get the expert's opinion. He was pretty helpful, he recommended a couple of brands I should try. Now I had everything to start painting.
for those who are hesitant or scared of starting something, just think for yourself, what's the worst that could happen? If you can take it, just jump right in.